Hi everyone, my name is Belle and today I'm going to tell you about Mexico. Mexico, uh, where is it? In the southern part of North America, why is the country of Mexico? It's from uh, between the United States and the country of Belize and Guatemala. What, uh, west of Mexico is the Pacific Ocean. On the eastern is the co- uh, on the eastern part is the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of California divides the main and wide area of Mexico from Baja, I mean Baja, uh, from the Baja Peninsula. Nice. Wait, ca- uh, how did California just went up to there? Uh, Mexico also includes some islands. Islands. These lie on, uh, along the east and west coast. Mexico City. One of the oldest cities in North America is the capital of Mexico. It sits on the uh, in a basin surrounded by mountains and it's home to more than 19 million people. Mexico City contains uh, many beautiful parts. Chapultepec Park is the largest. It contains, it contains a zoo, gardens, fountains, museums, lakes, and forests. People. Thousands of years ago, indigenous people lived on the land that is now Mexico and built amazing civilization. Then, uh, then Spanish explorers like Christopher Columbus uh, came to Mexico in 1517 by, or Hernan Cortes. By 1521, the Spanish had colonized Mexico. As a result, about two-thirds of modern Mexico, uh, Mexico's people are mes- uh, mestizos. This means they are descendants of both indigenous and European ancestors. The other third of the population consists of indigenous peoples, Spanish descendants, and other people who have come to the country. Today, uh, Mexico has a population of more than 120 million people. Most of the Mexicans speak Spanish. More people speak Spanish in Mexico than any other country in the world. Wait, really? Some people speak indigenous language, such, uh, such as the Aztecs and the Mayas. M- uh, uh, most of the population live in cities. Mexico is rich in natural resources such as oil and silver. It, export, uh, it, export, uh, uh, it uh, exports tons of coffee, sugar, cane, and cotton throughout the world each year. The country is famous of, uh, is also famous for its art and artists. P- uh, painting, sculpture, and dance, and dancing have a long and rich history in Mexico. Hey, chocolate was there in too, you know. Chocolate was ma- uh, was in Mex- uh, Mesoamerica, which was modern day Mexico, you know. So I think there are also cocoa beans there. Do you know Mexico is famous for its large paintings called muros? Uh, muros. One of its most famous murales was Diego Rivera. It is famous mural. Uh, a mural. He shows uh, the Zapotec and Mixtec, two indigenous groups. Indig- uh, indigenous groups in ancient Mexico at work making jewelry from gold and precious stones such as jade, jade and turquoise. And turquoise. The Moral, along with many others, is a national powers. Is in the national powers in Mexico City. Oh, real. Wait, uh, Mexico still has a monarchy. That's it, son. Cool. Landforms. Mexico has uh, many mountain ranges, and some mountains are on are also volcanoes. The highest mountain is a volcano 500, uh, 5,700 meters high, and uh, named Pico de Orizaba. Oh, I didn't know. I uh, I can spell. Uh, I can speak Spanish. Pico, uh, Pico de Orizaba. Mountains, uh, I didn't need you know, to uh, read. Uh, I need just only to need the word, not the type, uh, not to how to read like that. Forget. 
mountains, uh, uh, mountains run along the uh, west, east, and, co- uh, and south. Mexico also had canyons that reach amazing depths. Copper Canyon in northern Mexico is known for being larger than the Grand Canyon. Nice. The center of the country is a plateau. The, uh, the raised flat land make it ideal for building roads and towns. Most people live in the area. Two peninsulas, the Baja and Yucatan, uh, Yucatan just uh, Yucatan jumped into the ocean. The Yucatan Peninsula, wait, the Yucatan Peninsula is where the asteroid uh, who uh, just landed in Earth uh, 65 billion years ago and fell out of the dam source. It's made of limestone that has dissolved away over thousands of years in some places. This, the result is spectacular clay, uh, caves, including underground caves filled with water called can, uh, cenotes. Cenotes. Oh, see, notice. Why was it the biggest cave? The biggest one was in Vietnam. That's strange. The Sonoran and the Chihuahuan, uh, Chihuahuan, Chihuahuan Desert stretch across northern Mexico. The Sonoran Desert has more uh, types of plants than any desert in, in North America. Wow, desert do just take a look. Desert do like that. The deserts in Mexico did take a lot, uh, a portion, a lot of portion of the uh, land. Only, uh, only the green part was in the wild coast, in the east and west. That's strange. More wet forests cover parts of southeastern Mexico. These forests are home to many different types of plants and animals. Mexican coastal wetlands contain lagoons, marshals, and swamps. Uh, past the eastern coast lies the Caribbean Sea. I know the Caribbean Sea, you know. Mexican does not have many lakes and rivers, but one is very known because it forms the border between uh, between uh, Mexico and the United States. Mexicans call this river the Rio, Bra- the Rio Bravo de Norte which means wild river in the north. I know this river, you know, so please stop. Isn't that the river that border Texas is? Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, that river was, uh, was the border of Texas in the south. People in the United States call it the Rio Grande. Uh, Grande. Grand. Nice. History. The earliest people in Mexico were indigenous people. Uh, peoples. One of the most well-known groups in the uh, in uh, is the Mayan people. The Mayas uh, built uh, great cities, temples, and pyramids without the help of the wheel or animal. The wheel. Yeah, the wheel was invented three thousand years ago. But not rubber wheels, you know. They also created beautiful works of art, studied uh, stars and planets, and developed a calendar. Nice. But the Romans did develop a calendar for, right? Yes. In the early, uh, what, uh, 300, uh, in the early 1300s, the Aztec people arrived in central Mexico. They built their capital city on uh, an island in a lake. The Aztec also named uh, also, uh, were also known as the Mexico, and from that name comes with the name Mexico. The site of uh, the Aztec city, Tenochtitlan, will become Mexico City. Nice. The Aztec built a huge empire called the Aztec Empire, I think. In 1519, the uh, Spanish explorer Hernan Cortes arrived in the Aztec cap, uh, capital. Within two years, he and his followers had taken over the land and conquered the Aztec people. In 1521, Mexico became a Spanish colony. It remained a colony until 1821, when the people fought and won a war to 
which was the uh, which was the Mexican Independence War, I guess. Or the Mexican Revolution. When the people fought a war and won a war, uh, fought and won a war to be free from the Spanish rule. Like the uh, what uh, the U.S. did to Britain since. In the century that followed, many people were poor farmers who st- uh, struggled to survive. Wealthy Europeans owned, uh, owned 95% of the land. Farmers and workers had a few rights and little money during the Mexican Revolution, 1910 and 20, and 10 years later. Oh, yes. The people rose up and, tra- and changed the government. Mexico became a, a democracy, which helped uh, to improve daily life for people who were still poor. Not to mention that the Mexican-American War, then the French invasion in Mexico. You know, and also the formation. Uh, also, Mexico also became an empire before the Mexican-American War. Today, Mexico is, uh, is still a land of restraints. There are two main social classes, the rich and the poor, with a very small middle class. Nice. Animals. Many different types of animals live in Mexico. The jaguar played an important role in, in the story, songs, and plays of Mexico, uh, Mexico's uh, ancient indigenous people. It was, uh, it was mainly in the rainforest of Mexico, the largest of all cat species in North America. It can measure about two meters in length. It has black spots and, and a roar sounds like a wild cough. <coughs> Unlike many other cats, the jaguar wants to swim, play, and hunt in water. Its main source of food is the uh, pecari, a small wild member of the pig family. Sadly, the jaguar is in danger of extinction. Armor, Many people are trying to save them. You know what? They were not so good. The sacred bird of the As- uh, of the ancient Maya and the Aztec of the Aztec, the Quetzal, live in the rainforest of Mexico. Like many types of birds, the male is brightly covered and the female is plainer in appearance. The male's head and chest are brighter golden green. Its back is blue, its belly is red. Really? And its tail feathers can be more than one meter long. Wow. In the mountains of Mexico with the red knee tarantula. This uh, large hairy spider is named for the red orange patches in its white joints. The legs of these large spiders Span, uh, span 15 centimeters or 6 inch. It grows very slowly, and the female what, um, can wait to be 30 years old. That's long, but not so long. Conclusion Mexico is a country of diversity. Of diversity. It has modern cities and ancient ruins, deep canyons, wide within huge mountains. Dry deserts and wet rainforests cover the uh, the wet. Its long history and natural beauty fascinate people around the world. You are to visit Mexico. Who you see first? I would take a trip to see the asteroid impact on there. Yeah. Right. Well, goodbye.